Love You Till the End, Part 2. So happy this is going well. Hey, hey, hello. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Well, I promised you I'd come. So, how do you like it? Amazing. Yeah? Mm hmm. I don't like it that much. <laughs> Nikita, sorry for interrupting you, but we haven't finished talking about my gallery. Can sure, we finish? Sure, absolutely. I just need a moment, okay? Sure, sure. I'll look around in the meantime. Sure, take a walk. Mm -hmm. I finished talking to her. Was it successful then? Well, yeah. So do you like it? It's wonderful. But you know that. Really? Yeah, I didn't expect this. Hmm. Well, thank you. By the way, it's just a field near Yaroslavi. It's great. Yeah. Well, let's go. I'll show you the cows. The cows? Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> on the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> They're very nice. And they're kind, too. <laughs> Vika, mm. would you like some champagne? Of course. Yeah? I wouldn't say no to that. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Natasha, hello. Where's Nikita? Over there in the hallway. You said that your brother and his wife wouldn't come. Guy's over there with Vika. Hey, hello. Hello, Nikita. Hello, Max. Hello. This is pretty good. Yeah, really. Yeah? Could you give us a moment, please? All right. But just a tiny moment, okay? Uh, thank you, bro. Vika, we need to talk. We have absolutely nothing to talk about. Come with me for a minute. Are you out of your mind? Let's go. Don't argue. Come on. Where to? Come on. Come on. Where are you taking me, Maxim? To Marina. But why? What do you need from me? Stop the car. Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. I said stop the car. really pretty. How are you? Vika, I'm... I'm dying. Thank you very much for coming. Goodbye. Hello there. Good afternoon. Nikita will be here soon, and in the meantime, I want to warn you, he can be a little harsh sometimes. He's an artist, so you know how that is. I get it. I don't have much time. Uh, hold on a second. Nikita, listen. A journalist wants to interview Natasha, you. I'll be right back, okay? Uh, <laughs> just a second. Uh, Nikita, come here. Nikita? The doctor said that the disease progressed very, very quickly. They're using some special therapy. But it's not working all that well. What about some kind of operation then, Marina? No, it's too late.
I just want to prepare for my departure. I don't want anyone to suffer after my death. I feel very guilty about you. And now it's apparently the time to restore justice. Marina, please stop. What are you talking about? I want you to marry Maxim. And for you to become a good mother for my girls. Are you serious? You must be out of your mind. Did you and Maxim make Hold this on, up? listen for Maxim. You can live in our flat for a while and help me with the household chores. I need you to take care of my girls. I don't have anyone else I can Do you ask. really think that I'll agree to this? But you love him, don't you? Oh, God. I can't even listen to you right now. Vika, wait, wait, hold on. Vika, have you agreed to it? Why me? Why me? Why don't you just hire a servant? We wanted it to be someone close to us. <laughs> and I turned out to be the closest, right? I'll pay you. I'll pay you well. Thank you, but I have a job already. Does it offend you, Vika? Kovalev, I'm looking at you and I'm amazed by how cynical you both got. Not a single normal person would have come up with this plan. Please, I'm begging you. Just for a couple months, for Marina. Hey guys, I'm terribly sorry for interrupting the conversation, but since I play the role of jester in our family, I'll advise you to not accept this humiliating role. Vika's rather stubborn. She stopped loving with finality. So is she happy with her stubborn side? Oh. Discussing me, are you? Hello there, Dad. Hello, honey. It's been a long time. Just don't say it's been a long way. We live in the same city. Is that a reproach? No, I am just stating a fact. That's right. Sit down and let's talk. Yes. About what? About your future and what we need to build. No. My future doesn't concern you. I'm sorry. Mm. Dad, we were actually talking about my studies. We were saying that you need money. Mm -hmm. mm. Don't they pay scholarship these days? Dad, it's the 21st century. We are the ones who pay for school. Are you hungry? Mm hmm. You shouldn't be so mean. Mom, I'm not mean. I just don't want to talk to him. Ugh. It was me who divorced him. He didn't divorce you. He forgot about us. When was he here last? Ugh. Lift your legs up. But he's here now. He came to see you. Mm-hmm. He found out that Yulia needs money for her studies, and he came. Hold on, Mom. I don't understand. Are you ready to forgive him already? <sighs> Why not? <sighs> the man had some fun. <sighs> who, who doesn't have fun? He came back to establish some contact. He came to his senses, thanks a lot. You know what I think? Live as you want to. I might be leaving soon. But where to? Please don't leave. 
Honey. <sighs> Mom, please. don't start, please. You made a complete fool out of me. What was I supposed to tell them, huh? Well, I'm sure you came up with something. Listen to me, Nikita. There must be at least some explanation for your behavior. Tell me and I'll try to work with you. Come on. Don't lower yourself. It doesn't suit you. Anyway, we should have split long ago. I don't mean any offense, but I don't love you. You don't love me? No, I don't love you. That's old news. That's completely old news. Nobody loves anybody anymore. Do you think that your brother loves Marina? It's no secret that Marina only married him for the money. And he cheats on her and they live together still. If it was your rules, all marriages would have been destroyed already. Well, enough with this. No, it's not enough. I've wasted my life on you, and I'm dealing with your career, and I'm still hoping that you'll finally make a profit off your photography. I'm definitely not getting any profit. But why? Here. People from the Federal Channel have come? Do you want to live like normal people? But I don't want that. I don't want that. What do you want, then? Do you even know what you want? <sighs> All right, I'm going to the Dasha. Are you taking this one? It's very warm. No. Take it, take it. It's very warm. How long will your trip take? Oh, I've never heard about teachers being sent on work trips. I'm sending myself, don't worry. When are you coming back to us? Mom, this is enough. All right. Can you explain to us why you were leaving? No, I can't. I can't even explain it to myself. I don't know when I might come back. So please, don't ask me any more questions, all right? All right. Slippers. Mom, those are mine. We'll buy you new ones. Mom. All right. This is Karina, the older one. She's a bit spoiled, but you can find a way to approach her. <laughs> this is Lyra, the golden child. For two chocolates, she'll be meek as a lamb, trust me. All right. You better tell me their daily schedule when they get up, what they do. Yeah, yeah. I've written down every day, by the hour, and by the minute. Uh, listen, Maxim is careful about the girl's daily regimen. His parents did that, and he cares about it, too. One more thing. Listen. You'll need to change. A little. I'm sorry, but you have to go to school, to kindergarten, to parents' meetings. You'll need to look impressive. More professional. More formal. Mm. I didn't know there was a dress code for governesses. You're not a governess. I've told you a thousand times, you're my sister. All right, okay. What else is there? All right. Here's the schedule. Mm-hmm. Here's the credit card. All right, I'll buy a suitable uniform for your fancy house. Look, appearance is really very important for Maxim. And remember, whatever you do, cook, wash, clean, or iron, you must always look perfect, like you're on the red carpet. <laughs> Marina, do you really think that I'm going to conquer your husband? Just let it be. I just want my girls to grow up to be good people. Will you try? Of course. Take the magazine, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, mm, so is it really that bad? Well, it's just somehow. Just tell me the truth. Frankly speaking, there's no woman in it. Are you willing to give it a try? Sure.
So tell me, do you like it? Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Come on in. I've talked to the girls and they're waiting for you upstairs, but first you have to sign some papers. Do I have to sign them right now? Maybe I can meet the girls first beforehand? You'll meet my girls only after all formalities are settled, all right? Everything has an order here. Study your rights and obligations and sign each page at the bottom, please. So, is it enough then? Am I able to meet the girls right now? Let's go. <clears throat> Look how I dressed the doll for her to meet you. She's very beautiful. Victoria Dmitrievna, why haven't you come visit us before? Uh... Because I live pretty far away from here. Are you really Mom's sister? Mm-hmm. And the two of you can just call me Aunt Vika. Can we just call you Vika? Of course. But I think we should first get to know each other, huh? Tomorrow's a day off. So you'll have a chance to hang out. Mm-hmm. Girls, now go and shower and brush your teeth. Go ahead. You need to be strict with them. How come? You know they'll walk all over you if you're not, Vika. Aunt Vika, do you know any poems? I love poems so much. I do know poems. Do you know any poems? Hmm? Karina? Frost and sun, a wonderful day. Good, and what line comes next? You're still dreaming, my beautiful. You're still dreaming, my beautiful friend. But I hate poetry. Mom said we need to learn to say poems. Mom is right, because poems train wit and imagination. Why don't we read and learn poems starting tomorrow? Hmm? All right. Let's see who gets there first, huh? What is this don't letter right here? Me. I'll be right back. Go to the door. Hello? Hello, Vika. How are you? Ah, uh, hello, Marina. Well, where is she? She's just talking on the phone. Shh. Yes, I've been to the hairdressers, and... Well, I didn't recognize. Myself and Maxim didn't even notice. So you're getting on well? You're doing great. How's Karina behaving? Is she naughty? Occasionally. But I'm managing. It's all right. He's here, by the way. Let me go and greet him now. All right, go ahead. Hello. Um, 
We're just about ready for dinner. Has Karina done her homework? She's finishing it in the kitchen. Homework should be done at the working table. Where are my beautiful girls? Lyra, Karina, Dad is here. I'll put these away. Daddy, did you see our mommy? Yeah. She asked me to give you guys a kiss. How is she feeling today? Mom's definitely a bit unwell. They'll treat her and she'll come back. This is for you. Just a minute. Karina? Are you out of your mind? What? How dare you feed the kids with this trash? Did you do it on purpose? I know you can cook well. I can, and you used to like it. Just taste it. Taste it. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I was too heavy on spices. You listen to me. You are going to cook dinner again for the girls right now. I'll eat in a restaurant. It's no wonder to me that you're all alone. Everything's fine. Everything's all right. We'll make more soup. Aunt Vika, I did it. I just wanted to play a trick on you. Aren't you mad at me? No, of course not. But I will be very mad at you if you do not eat the new soup. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Also get a carrot each for that. What? Hey! Cool. Mmm. The soup is ready. Now, Karina. It looks so delicious, but now take care so I don't hit you in the eye. <laughs> Good, here you go. Wow. Now, Lyra. Mm-hmm. Here. Take Thank a you, little, Aunt you're Vika. welcome. Thank you. Everybody, good appetite. Thank you, Aunt Vika. Mm -hmm. You know that I still have my doubts that inviting Vika was not a good idea. Can you please just trust me once in a lifetime? You know that it's hard for me. Doubt is part of my profession. Doubt is part of your nature. <sighs> Do you have to run? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Can you manage? Mm-hmm. Goodbye, then. Get well soon. I can only hope. Aunt Vika, I can't do it. It's very simple. Watch me. We take the dough, cut it into small pieces, smother it in flour, and oop! Oh, stop! <laughs> I want it too! I want it too! Oh, I'm going to get you now! Here comes the war! <laughs> What's going on here? We're... <coughs> We're just getting acquainted. 
Getting acquainted, huh? Mm-hmm. Clean it all up immediately and don't ever teach the girls to make this mess, okay? But, Daddy, Aunt Vika was playing with us all day, and we had fun. Mm. Vika, I'm sorry for my harshness then. But you've only just gotten here, and you don't understand that. Order in all things is important, and I'll ask you not to disturb it. I hope you understand there are rules in this house. As for you girls, go to your rooms and do your homework. Is our dad still mad at us? Are we going to the park? Yes, if you behave well today. I want to ride the scariest slide, where you ride with your head down. Me too, me too. <laughs> you can't go on that slide, you're too little. All right, in this case, Karina will go to the slide with Dad, and you'll give me a ride in the car. Okay, then I want to drive it. Well, of hmm. course you will. You couldn't understand my life. You'd invite me to the movies, but I couldn't afford it. But I was willing to buy you a ticket. I know that, but it was very hard for me to ask you every time. <sighs> Why do you think I didn't go to the prom? You said you were sick of everyone. Mm -mm. I wanted to go, but my parents had no money to buy me a dress or shoes. I decided that I'd never live with them in that poverty. But they are your parents, Marina. You don't get to choose them, or do you have a backup option? I have Maxim, and he would never accept those parents anyway. And I think you definitely need to see them. How's your day? I'm doing okay. You know, I like Aunt Vika a lot. She's so nice and kind. And Dad's grumbling at her all the time. You know, I think we should protect her. Yes, I agree. She's really awesome. Have you eaten? Mm hmm yeah. <laughs> all right, good. Tell me. Hmm? When did you last see the girls? Three weeks ago. Why are you shielding yourself from them? They really miss you. Don't you see how I look? I'm sorry. But when are you going to look better? I understand, but I don't want them to see me like this. A little more and we'll go home. Sit down and play. Are you tired? Why do you look so sad? Good afternoon. Finally, you're Hello, here. Okay. What took so long? Hello. Bye-bye. Hello. You've been waiting long? Yes. I'm sorry. I was hoping I wouldn't be late. I didn't know adults say sorry to little kids, Vika. Sure we do. The one who's guilty says sorry. We thought that maybe you had left us. No one has left you. Listen, girls. I've got a surprise for you. Really? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Have you got everything? Yeah. Mom, 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 mom. Girls, my girls. I miss you so I much. I miss you so much. My smart girl. I missed you even more. <laughs> I you didn't love go you. to music school. I guess Come Dad will swear at us. He won't. I'll tell him. Not to swear. <laughs> You've got such a pretty hairstyle. Yeah. Aunt Vika did it for me. And for me, too. Take a look. Yours is beautiful, too. You're the most beautiful girls. also taught us to stir eggs and make some dough. Yeah? We made cookies. They were very tasty. What else did you do? We're going to the park. Yes, Dad and Aunt Vika will take us there. Aunt Vika. Mom, why are you wearing a handkerchief? 
It's trendy now, honey. I've sent the kids to bed. Good night to you both. Vico, wait a minute. I want to thank you for Marina. It's good that you're showing some initiative, of course. But maybe ask me first next time. I think you're too quick to dismiss her. She's still able to make decisions about her children. But still, warn me first. About any new ideas, please. And another thing. Nikita's gonna stay here for a while. He's having some issues with his... With his manager, as you know her. <sighs> that doesn't concern me. But it does. I'm often away from home, and Nikita wants to be a boarder here. I'm ready to pay more. So... You want me to cook for your brother as well? Hmm. Does he have a separate menu, or will he eat the same as the girls, huh? Ah, uh, Vika, come on, what would you make me? Would you make porridge in the morning? Uh, please, don't worry about me, I'm a wonderful cook. I'll surprise you with my cooking, actually. Look, I'm well aware of your culinary skills and all of that, but I'm sorry. All right, all right, listen, look, I know what's going on here. Anyway, I can cook some, uh, some spaghetti bolognese and something else tomorrow, all right? All right. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night, Nikita. Vika, just one minute, okay? They're crazy, I get it, but why did you agree with them? Why did you even come? Just know I won't allow you in my brother's bed, is that clear? Are you insane, Nikita? What are you talking about? Be careful. I am, I am. Settle down now. I am. All right, Karina, sit down straight. Lyra, so, you too. So, are you ready for Italian cuisine? Mm. <laughs> yes. Let's taste what your Smells Uncle Nikita good. cooked. It's spaghetti. I it first. Me too. Okay. All right, here's some juice. Just be careful. It's hot, girls. Girls, eat your vegetables, okay? Make sure. Are you mad after yesterday? I am. Where's the sugar? Here you go. Thank you. But I'll stop being mad if you do me one small favor. And what favor is that? We need to bring Marina's parents here. Hold on, have I heard you right? I, I thought they're dead. No, they're not. Marina lied to Maxim. She was embarrassed about them. Mm-hmm. That's a big surprise. Hold on, uh, the girls... also have a grandpa and a grandma, right? Mm-hmm. But you understand that it's a secret. I do. So if I help you find them, you'll forgive me, is that right? You don't need to search for them. They live near my house, so I'll give you the address myself. It must be Dad. I'll open the door. All right, just don't rush. Take care. But Vika, why can't you do it? <laughs> Maxim made me sign a contract. I have one day off in two weeks. Well, you sound like my brother. Would you like some dinner, by the way? No, thanks. I've eaten. Well, is it tasty? Hello. 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 Hi. Oh, I see now. You've settled here nicely, haven't you? Do they pay for your cooking? Here. I work like a dog for you, making business deals. And you're here hiding out at your brother's house? You're nobody without me, you know? You'd still be a good-for-nothing loser if it weren't for me. Could you please discuss this somewhere else? Wait, hold on. You're the one from the hospital, huh? Oh, I see now. You want to replace me. The older brother rejected you, and now you want the younger one. Natasha, really? The kids are right here. Girls, 
I think it's getting late for musical school. Let's go. Goodbye. Vika, wait, I'm coming with you, okay? You're not going anywhere. We need to talk. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning to you too, son. May I ask why you're here? I found your daughter, Marina. Father! He's talking about Marina. I felt it in my heart that something's happened. Who might you be? I'm her friend. When did you lose her? We never lost her, son. Our daughter's in Moscow. She's married to a lawyer. They have two daughters. All right, hold on. When did you see her last? Not since she moved to Moscow. What's wrong, honey? Mom. Mom, please forgive me, Mom. Oh, come on, dear. Please forgive us. Mom. Please forgive us. Mom, I feel so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my dear. I'm so sick. Oh, my dear. I'm sorry. Me. Uh, oh, everything will be sorry. just fine, honey. It'll all be fine. <laughs> yes, Natasha. Max, am I finally get through to you? <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's just a crazy day. What happened? Answer me this. Why did you hire that psycho as your governess? Natasha, no, I don't want to discuss this with you right now. She has her eye on Nikita. She's hanging around him all the time. That's nonsense. Look, I'm telling you. Listen, Maxim, why do you need her? Do you understand that you're ruining my life here? Natasha, don't be ridiculous, all right? Vika's not interested in Nikita at all. Just believe me. Gotta go, okay? Why are you making a fool out of me, hmm? What's that? Do you think that I wouldn't find out? The plan that you had in mind all along? I asked you before to discuss it with me, to warn me. I don't have to report everything to you. Why are you so stubborn? Although I think I like it. Maxim, you should stop. You've really changed. You're prettier. Stop it. You thought I wouldn't notice. Maxim, stop. Stop, mm. I'm begging. Please stop. Mm. Please stop. Mm. Hey, Aunt Vika. Uh. Aunt Vika, Lyra has been crying. She's calling for you. What happened? Let's go. Let's go, honey. Lyra. Lyra, what happened? Huh? What if mommy dies? No. No. What makes you say that? Huh? She's not coming back. I want to go to my mommy. I understand. Listen to me. She's going to be all right. 
She has two wonderful daughters. But she was crying in the hospital. <laughs> she was scared, and now I'm scared too. Listen to me. She'll be all right. When we cry, we don't help her. If we smile and believe she'll get better, she'll recover, okay? Do you hear me? You're not going to cry anymore, okay? <laughs> Deal? Okay. You're my big, strong girl. You really are. <laughs> It'll be okay. Karina, go to bed. Well, hush, hush, that's it. Hello. I mean, you could have warned me at least. <laughs> I live here, actually. Well, yeah. Mom's at the dacha. I'm having a party. Would you walk around for a bit? Oh, come on. Don't worry. I won't stay long. Look, here's some money. Thank you. Why is she at dacha? You won't believe it. She's having an affair. With whom? With Dad. Oh, come on. I'm telling you. He runs away from his young wife to see her. That's the life, huh? All right, then, see you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Don't destroy the apartment. Oh, don't bother. Listen, how is it at the new place, huh? It's all right. Good. I'm managing. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. The girls will be upset. They wanted to go to the park. What could I do? They reset the hearing. Are you worried? Me? <laughs> Why? I haven't lost a single case yet. This one? Yes. This one then, I guess. Could you tie it, please? Sorry, I don't know how. Well, you'll have to learn. Why would I have to learn? Well, you didn't exactly come here to work as a governess. Your motives are evident at last. You want to take Marina's place. And I'm not against it, you know. Maxim, I'm not going to take anyone's place. How do you not know that? <laughs> you are very proud. And it suits you. But you still love me. You admitted it. No. I never loved you. <laughs> I loved someone. Someone I invented for myself. I pity you, that's true. I only work at your house, and... doing ties is beyond my obligations, actually. That's what you think. The situation will change soon. And you need to be more attentive to me, Vika. I've got a lot of ties. Mm-hmm. Yes, and feed the girls, okay? Then we'll go to the park the next time. Has Dad just left? Mm -hmm. But what about the park? Girls, your dad had a meeting. He asked me to tell you that he's sorry. I knew it. He never does what he says. Oh, but he promised us, though. I understand. Why don't we just go for a walk, then? We'll go to the park when Papa can do it, all right? I don't want to take a walk. Mm-hmm. Who's so grumpy here? What if your uncle takes you to the park? Hooray! All right, Karina. I don't see a smile yet. Hmm? Who wants pancakes with chocolate butter and cottage cheese? I do, cheese? I do! Go I ahead, do. it's in the kitchen. Thank you, Uncle Nikita. Go Hooray. on, my dears, enjoy. Hurry up! Thank you, Nikita. They love you very much. Not at all. Moreover, I had absolutely nothing to do today, so it's fine. Ah, so that's how it is? Mm -hmm. So it was your cunning plan. <laughs> All right, let's have breakfast. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, smile. Karina, come on. No? Hmm? Oh, that's a classic. <laughs>
Let's go, shall we? And now Great Huntress Lyra and Karina are heading to the carousel. One of them has even prey under her arm. Hey, you know what I think? Oh, the most beautiful one flew away. Ah, uh, Lyra, don't be so sad. We have plenty of them left. Look, I have an idea. We'll let everyone make a wish and release a balloon. You have one for two. All right, make a wish. Lyra, we have one for two. Release them. Oh! Oh, um, Mika, what? What was your wish? You can't tell, Karina, or it won't come true. All right. <laughs> okay, to the carousel. Yes, I'll take oh, the right one. I'll take the black one. I want 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 the black one. I'll catch you here next time. All right. Yeah, sure. Which one is looking at you? This okay. one. All right, here yeah, you go. Yeah, fresh tea. Me, me, me first. Tea? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, me first, me first. Karina, I'll pour Karina more. Aunt Vika? Yes? It was so much fun at the park. Yes, it was a really great day. We raced the slides like Schumacher, right? <laughs> What's a Schumacher? <laughs> Schumacher's the best racer in the world. Don't you remember we watched the program? Oh, really, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hello, Max. Hi. Hello, Maxim. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Did something happen? What? I asked you if something happened. Oh, uh, yeah. I lost the case. Lost? But how? What's the surprise? You know, you can't always win in life. mean to the teacher on this Friday. Mm. They took me to the principal. <laughs> and I held a dirty kitten with my hands. <laughs> this is one heck of a naughtiness fest. Look at that. And I forgot to put garlic into the borscht today. <laughs> what about you, Nikita? <laughs> Everyone has confessed. You should, too. Tell us! Yes, tell, tell us! us. Tell Nikita. Nikita! I'm a fool, everyone. I'm a complete fool. You're all so beautiful, and I'm just sitting here <laughs> not taking photos of you? Okay. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Good. All right, gather together, guys. Okay. Really? I wanted to wipe no. it. <laughs> gather now. Girls, say cheese. -er. Cheese! -er. That was perfect. Karina. What's wrong, honey? You should just leave. You don't care about us. No, that's not true. Why would you say that? Nobody cares. Everybody thinks about themselves. No one needs us. That's not true at all. Your mom and dad need you. And I need you. I need you more than you know. That's not true. You only need my father. Mom needed dad too. And now she left all of us. My poor little girl. You have so much to handle. So much for you. Look, I don't need your dad. I actually like someone else, okay? Are you serious? I swear to you. Come give me a hug. Hello. Hello. All right, this is for you. I took <laughs> the first thing I could find. It all should fit, though, right? Uh, what are you doing? What am I doing? Stop lying around and pitying yourself. It's time to recover. But how can I recover, Vika? I have no idea. Find a way and do it. First of all, get up and breathe some fresh air. You've got so much to do. As soon as you're done, you can. Moreover, I have my own fish to fry. What about Maxim? <laughs> what does Maxim have to do with it? 
Marina, I wouldn't need you to die to take Maxim, if this is what you're referring to. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, and the smell. Oh. Oh. I love that smell. Is it fish? <laughs> It's a white fish. <laughs> it's my favorite fish. Wow. I haven't had fish in a hundred years. Here you go. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> mm, it's also tasty. Oh, mm, mm. All right. I'll trade Max for a fish. You can have him. <laughs> no, I don't need him. He's such oh, a bore. This is so good. Thanks for bringing this. Listen, Marina, why don't we go to the movies? We'll see the latest comedy, huh? Am I allowed to? All right. I'll go and talk to your doctor. In the meantime, why don't you get ready to leave this terrible place? Thank you. Hello, Maxim. It's me. I've decided to come back home. Can you pick me up? Are you out of your mind? You can hardly walk. You must stay at the hospital. What's the point? You can see they can't do anything. So what? A and you decided to get better at home? Listen, if it's destined to happen like this, the truth is I'd like to spend my last days with you. Marina, this is madness. Maxim, I'm dying here. It'd be easier to be together. Uh, you can destroy yourself however you want. I'm not gonna take part in this. Sorry, I need to get back to work. Sorry. Right. Vika. Vika, stop. Come here, please. Why are you doing this to me? What? She had practically come to terms with this. We all knew what to do, and there was some order in here. Why are you ruining everything? You know, you're giving her false hope. I can't even recognize her now. You never knew her, Maxim. What? What are you talking about? Why don't you talk to her about it? No, hold on. Why don't you finish what you've started? All right. She's been adapting to you this whole time. Mm. You really don't know her at all. You don't even know the simplest things. <laughs> what is she like? What music or movies does she like? She likes the Beatles, Russian the painters, Beatles, and... Russian portraitists, and American law-themed TV shows. She always shared my interests. Those are all the same things that I like. Exactly, your interests, Maxim. We were happy before you came here. We were always happy. Who was happy? You? Your wife in the hospital? Or her parents, perhaps? Her parents died. In a plane crash a very long time ago. No, no one died. <laughs> She lied to you, Maxim, because she was afraid to introduce them. They're not in line with your status, you understand? And what status is that? The status of a self-affected egoist. Come out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, jump out. I 
haven't been here in so long. This is our favorite sandbox. Let's run. Let's see who's Girls, hurt. be careful. Don't get hurt. <sighs> a friend of mine told me how to uh, marinate meat in mineral water. I figure... Will you cook it? We can try, right? Come on, come on. Here you go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Maxim keeps avoiding me, as if I were contagious. He doesn't seem to be too happy about my return. Why wouldn't he be happy? He's just confused. You broke all his rules. <laughs> yeah, right. I made them, and then I broke them. I changed my mind about dying. Can you imagine? When I fell ill, I really faced it. I thought I'd die quietly, and that's that. Oh, come on. Beloved husband. The girls. And my children. How can you not fight for them? What life, though, Vika? I've been playing a dramatic role. There was a point there I was afraid I'd forget my lines. It's weird now. I want to live. Thank you for that. Not at all. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? How could you release an ill person like her? Well, she's a sober-minded woman and can make her own decisions. Well, why didn't you talk her out of this? Tell me, please, how was I supposed to stop her? You can see that the treatment we've been doing isn't helping at all. What about the Hippocratic Oath? I didn't break the oath. I knew it straight away that only a miracle would help your wife. But miracles are very rare here. This is where all the miracles happen. You can't even begin to imagine what a person who believes in themselves can do. Him. He was standing one foot in the grave. He had no chance. He wanted to go to a sacred spring. He left and I thought that was it. He has a son now. The girl's liver was failing. I couldn't operate on her. She spread the word on social media and gathered more than 10,000 wishes for her recovery. Did you hear me? 10,000 people prayed for her. Did you hear me? She recovered and got married. Isn't that amazing? We do everything we can, Maxim. But our powers are still limited. But the patient's own abilities and their inner forces are limitless. You're a complete madman. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Yeah. I might be a madman. But if this is what it takes to have faith, then I'm ready to be one. I'm just afraid of losing her. Now that's encouraging. Feelings are awakening inside you. Care for someone that you love. And don't be afraid. Give in to those feelings and you'll feel better. All right, the meat's almost coming. But sausages are ready. Girls, you want some? Yes! All right. Do you need help? Clumsy uncle kid, of course I do. Vicky, don't burn yourself, all right? Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I'm confused. What's happening? I'm holding it. Mm -hmm. That's it? For the girls? For the girls. Here, Karina. Mm -hmm. Take care, it's very hot. Yeah. Oh, help me out. Thank you. I wish I could burn my disease like that. Mom, what's wrong? Nothing, it's all right. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Stop there. You promised me. 
that we'd win, but we didn't. You broke your promise. I said I'd do everything in my powers. Why didn't you try, then? The prosecution found witnesses who knew more than we did, and you didn't tell me anything about them. Are you saying that it's my fault, huh? Look, guys, I understand that you can mess me up pretty badly right now, but, um... Look, I'm a famous lawyer, and you guys could end up in big trouble. Just think about it, all right? Listen, you, don't be smart. You'll go all the way with me. We started it together, and we'll finish it together. I have nothing else to do. I've returned your money to you. My advice is that you find yourself another lawyer, okay? Why do I need another lawyer? I like you. Marina, don't worry. Nikita will bring Maxim here, you'll see. I just hope he's all right. Do you even know what you want? You push him away and then you send Nikita for him. I don't know. I just don't want to live like before. I really want everything to be real. It'll happen. I made your favorite. Hey, Max. Hello. What happened to you? Nothing. Come in. Come on. Come on. Tell me, what happened, man? It's nothing. Max, what is this? Oh, damn. You need to go to a hospital, man. No, I don't. I'll manage. Look, who was it? Have you filed a claim yet? I haven't filed anything. I messed with the wrong people. It was all about money. Money. It's good that you understand that. Mm -hmm. Money's not that important, Max. You have your wife and your children. Come on, get ready. It's too late. Why is it too late? Come on, get ready. Come on, man, let's go. No thanks, she doesn't need me. What kind of nonsense is that? She can't live without you. I've seen it, brother. She already said it. Of course, it won't be like before. You've been playing too long, bro. <laughs> All the attributes of a rich life, buying witnesses and love, this is, it's not how it works, man. Perhaps you'll tell me what to do, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you. Just be with her, Max. Just be by her side, is that so hard? You only have to want it yourself, Max. And that's it. <sighs> Maybe you're right about that. <sighs> Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the Dodge tomorrow, all right? All right? All right, brother. Good stuff. 
Tell the surgeon to stitch it firmly, right? <laughs> right. Very funny. <laughs> Marina, hmm? here is your towel. Thank you. Are you sure you don't need help? No, thanks. I'll get by myself. All right. I'm here if you mm -hmm. I told you I would help no, you. Don't leave me. I can do it by myself. Mom, why are you crying? We just want to help you. What's wrong? You used to give us baths. Now it's our turn to bathe you. Here you go. And you? Well? How are you feeling? I'm fine. Get some rest. Why aren't you asleep? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> hey, do you want to see my new photos? I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, where are the new photos? Have you lied to me? No, it's a secret, Vika. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, my <laughs> God. Are you out of your mind? Have you been watching me? <laughs> yeah, I've been watching oh. you. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're very good. <laughs> What are you doing? Vika. Hello, Marina. Hello. Marina, hello. Um, is Nikita here? His phone's been dead for two days. Oh, how are you? Much better. He's upstairs. I'll go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry, Marina. She insisted that it was a matter of life and death. I couldn't say no. <laughs> I'm not surprised. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I brought you an easel and paints. It's right here. <laughs> What if you started painting al fresco like you used to? You loved it. <laughs> yes, I'll start drawing. Let's get inside. I've cooked so many tasty things. I'll feed you something. Come on. 
Nikita, people from several galleries have called and they're just amazed by you. Sunsets, sunrises, fields, meadows. We've hit the spot, honey. Romanticism brings its fruits. Natasha, why are you here? Honey, I'm sorry. I couldn't resist and I opened it. They're inviting you to Europe. Oh, you're going to Europe now? <laughs> Overseas tours. Galleries in Austria and Germany want him. Mm, that's impressive, Nikita. Congratulations. I've always believed in you, by the way. Stop poking fun I'm at him. I'm not kidding. I believed in Max, you. Max, it's enough. Aren't you excited at all? I'll explain it to you later. Nikita, but wait. I thought you'd be... I thought you'd be happy. <laughs> I'll take the easel in there. She's here again, right? Natasha, I've told you a hundred times. She's here for the kids. Just slightly release it. Uh huh. Don't throw it. <laughs> Good. All right, there goes. Your dad is here. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How is he? Okay. He seems fine. He's a strong guy, you know? Hmm. He once saved my life when we were small children. Hmm. I've never heard that story. Well, it's our little, uh, brotherly secret. How many more secrets do you have? Well, I have one. Well? <laughs> oh, oh, silly. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. Come on, all right. Daddy! 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 <laughs> Dad, we've missed you so much. Ah. <sighs> Come and play badminton with us. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna win now for sure. Oh, my girls, let's let's play a little bit later, okay? I, I need to have a serious talk with your mom, and then I'll definitely go play with you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Girls, help yourselves with the cakes. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. Marina? I'll have some later. My parents are very kind. Really. But regardless of all their flaws, they love each other very much. For real. Let's go see them then. Or call them and ask them to come down here. They can live with us here. Won't your family say that we've spoiled the breed? You are my family. I've just realized how much I truly love you. I realized it just now.
<laughs> oh, here's our new muse, huh? How wonderful. I hope you don't count on anything, honey. Artists are self-centered people. One love today, another love tomorrow. I'm not going to discuss it with you. No one's asking you to. One word from me, and they'll kick you out of this house. Do you understand me? Hmm? Understand? Natasha, you're leaving? <sighs> Thank you very much, friend. You've been helping them get together. Natasha, calm down, please. No, don't shut me up. Marina, don't you see that you're ruining my life? Natasha, are you completely out of your no, mind? No, I'm not. Nikita, calm her down, please. Natasha, let's talk in private, please, okay? Don't touch me. A family of saints. <sighs> Marina, let's go sit down. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, my dears, what are you doing? I came to say goodbye. Aunt Vika, where are you going? I need to leave. We shall see each other again soon. Right? You're going to behave, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come give me a kiss. That's it. Goodbye, Aunt Vika. Bye -bye. Natasha, get out now. Why did you come, huh? Isn't it obvious that there's an ill person in the house? An ill person? I realize it's not about Marina. You found somebody else. Natasha, aren't you tired of this? Nikita, exhibitions in Europe are waiting for us. Don't you get that? But I'm not going with you. Did you trade me in for that Randy? Natasha, I've said everything. You're not coming? No. Whatever, then. How could you let her go? How could you let her go, Max? Nikita, we didn't know. She said goodbye to the girls and that's it. Look, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I didn't know you had your eye on her. My eye on her? Oh, that's a nice way to say that, man. Look, I like her, Max. I just want to be next to her and that's all. Make up your mind then. These are your words, by the way. It's not so easy. Hello, Vika. Listen. Look, I, I, I don't know what she told you, but you must know that we all, and myself, we're waiting for you here. Nikita, I'm not coming back. Don't call me anymore. Well? The game's over, man.
<sighs> Come on now. My dear child, why? Why are you so unlucky? Mom, I'm all right, really. I'll return to the school. Ugh, how did you manage to plunge into all of that? Mmm, smells delicious, Mom. Oh, Vika, hi. Hello. What do we have here? <gasps> oh, pancakes, Mom, thank you so Wash much. Wash your hands. Yes, Mom. Would you like some tea? Mm -hmm. Vika, I've got awesome news for you. Well? All right, listen to me. Yulia, let's tell her later. Oh, Mom, but she'll be happy. Happy about what? Happy to nurse your nephew. What? Yes, yes, I'm pregnant. Yeah, 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 congratulations and excitement are accepted. Who's the father? Oh, well. Kostya. Who? Vika, calm down, just calm down. I've thought it through. We're not going to take a gap year. I'll give birth while I'm in school, since Dad is paying. Mm. <sighs> Mom, can I tell Grandpa? He owes us a dowry. Shut up, shut up. Well, you know Dad's asking to come back, but Mom's not letting him. You see, she likes the status of a mistress more. <laughs> Flowers what and kind of tongue is this? What kind of runaway tongue is this? Blah, 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 blah. You're out of control. What did I say? Mom. Why are you so happy about this? Should I be crying? You think it's easy to raise a child by yourself? Well, I have you and Mom. Oh, you think so? Yes. All right, I get it. Where are you going? To Kostya. It's high time this mama's boy grew up. Vika. <sighs> What's up with her? Are you happy now? 4,228 plus 1,000. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. Kostya? Uh, Mom, Dad, I'm getting married. What did you say? I'm having a baby. Yulia's pregnant. Are you even sure this is your child? You never know these days. Yes, of course it is. Well, then that's it then. Eleonora Petrovna. Well, why don't you graduate university before becoming a father? No way, Mom. You don't understand. I need to be there from the beginning for my child. And you need to be there. Uh, uh but son, son, uh, your mother and I aren't actually against this. I love Yulia. If you're against it, I'll leave you. I swear it! Uh, Eleonora, I still want to become a grandfather. <sighs> we, the Verbludovs, are decent people. Therefore, we'll start planning the wedding. <laughs> really? Wow, Marina. You've been hiding your talent all this time. If I knew all of this, I wouldn't have paid the designer of our apartment in the city. <laughs> well, I've been hiding a lot, as it turns out. I think the most important thing is that the girls are happy. <laughs> You're a magician, Marina. Oh, it's not that difficult. It just takes patience and inspiration. And I have wonderful assistants. Yes, we've missed a lot. But we'll catch up, won't we, darling? <laughs> Look how happy they are. Nikita. Mm -hmm. Why are you so unhappy? I'm not unhappy. She's just not calling me. Go to her, then. She's so incredibly stubborn. But so are you. <laughs> Well, someone has to make the first move, mm -hmm. and it's you. Oh. Hello there, ma'am. Hello, Nikita. Go away. Oh, hold on, wait. Just give me a moment, please. I'll explain everything. Stop Just hold on. With my Just daughter. give me a moment to explain Go. everything no. to you, all right? No. <sighs> Come on. Thank you, ma'am.
Hello. Why aren't you in Europe? What would I do there without you? Are you gonna marry me or what? Mm-mm. Mm-mm? Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, you will, Vika. Even your mom wants you to marry me, you know that? Mm-hmm. You will. So tell me, which photo did you like the most? I can't tell you. <laughs> None of them, huh? Mm -hmm. By the way, why am I carrying your flowers? I'll take them. 